Peru News Today, all you need to know about Peru. S-I-E-L-E. -E. Does the new Spanish exam have implications for money and power for all Latin America? Critics voice concerns over a new Spanish as a foreign language exam, as is common in English. Countries sharing the same language often argue over the correct and incorrect idiosyncrasies developed by the other. So when it comes to establishing a standard English, or say, Spanish, who has the authority in matter? Who can write the exams? Who can distribute the certificates that award those who speak correctly? Quote, in Latin America, intellectuals are debating over the new exam known as the SIELE, created by Spanish, Mexican and Argentine institutions. They claim to have integrated the diversity of the Spanish language into the exam. This isn't the first exam that tests foreigners on their abilities to speak Spanish as a foreign language. Argentina created the CELU in 2001 and Spain launched DELE in 2004, according to an article by Alan LaRue on LinkedIn. There should be no concern regarding the legitimacy of the exam, considering that one of the primary supporters is director of the Spanish Instituto Cervantes. Victor Garcia de la Concha, he argues the exam will be fair. He is an academic who has gone out of his way to stress the pan-Hispanic attributes of the test. And a simple perusal of the SIELE demo exam hash provided online proves that regional forms and accents are incorporated throughout the exam. Quote, according to LaRue, the owners of the exam are the Instituto Cervantes, Spain, Universidad de Salamanca, Spain, Universidad Autónoma de México, Mexico, and the Universidad de Buenos Aires, Argentina. The exam would potentially be used to measure the Spanish level of students applying to universities all around the world of potential employees at global corporations, among other purposes. Visit at www.perunustoday.com. Also follow Owen Facebook and Twitter.